Hello again, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and it, after a week of, you know, just kind of both working on, you know, like schoolwork and stuff that was stressing me out, and also working on being less stressed, I'm finally ready to continue my series on Imposter Factory. Um, I think we're going to focus on finishing Imposter Factory and before moving on to... Uh, I'm going to turn this down a bit, if it'll work that way. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to focus on finishing Imposter Factory and then moving on to f trying to finish the House of Fate of Morgana and then seeing where we're at in terms of, like, October um, and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, um, let us continue this game. I also, when I was booting it up, I got, a, I got another um, notification that was like, like, there's, like, a 64-bit version, which I didn't load because I didn't know, like, what the consequences of that would be. So, we're going, so we are now back here, and we're going to see if there's any new clarifications about what the hell is going on. Alrighty. So, and so it's old and broken down, but the place as a whole seems more maintained. At first, I thought placement was palace. I don't know um, why that is, uh, why I thought that was the case, but I, I thought that was the case. And now we are going into the mansion. Uh, I feel, like, I feel like a lot of times I just say stuff because I feel like I should be saying something rather than because there's actually anything interesting to be said. Um, I suppose we'll see if, um, uh, is this uh, another act? Oh yeah, I don't, this wasn't divided into acts, was it? Like, um... I don't know who the moon was, and I think Finding Paradise was, if I recall. Um, uh, whoa, it feels like it's been ages since I last washed my hands here. <laughs> well, I mean, he did wash his hands like 50 times here, so it's, um, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's different. So this must be at a different point in time. Um, uh, so they can't see him. Uh, ooh, I'm a ghost. Would you like rice? Wait, you can see me? Cut <laughs> that rice spot. Oh, interesting. So the rice spot can see, uh, Quint Quincy? Quentin? I could, I just like forgot his name, even though I saw it, I read it like several seconds ago. Right this way. Okay, wait, hold on. Was that, that wasn't Eva, was it? I'm so eager to see him, I'm like starting to hallucinate, Eva. Uh, let's see. So they're not saying anything. But I'm gonna click on them anyway. Because I would feel anxious if I didn't. Alright, and now we go up the stairs. This is one interesting thing. I wonder why they didn't have it just move straight upstairs. Why? I mean, I guess you can go like, like I can go up that flight and then up that flight, rather than just going up whatever flight you choose at, at first. But um, oh, it looks like I still need to get one more memory orb. Um, uh, let's try clicking on again. See what? Yeah, requires memory orbs. Let's see if that demon cat is in there. Well, we I guess we won't know because they can't get in there. Um, uh, that was locked. But I'm already, I'm sort of already inside this door? Oh, I was like halfway, I, I, I don't wait, no, I don't know what that meant. Um, uh, so now we're walking down, and then we're walking down the line that divides me somewhere in my mind. I'm sorry, I'm, I, um, for those, I've talked about this a bit on other episodes I did, I think, but I, um, I feel like I'm the, like, last person to discover Green Day I, after uh, Lindsay Ellis' video on Bush-era protest music. Um, and so I'm, like, super obsessed with them because I just, to me, they're this new, interesting thing, even though all their stuff's, like, all the stuff I listen to is, like, from when I was a child. <laughs> Let's see. All right, now, is, is this enough to break the barrier? Yes, it is. I wonder I wonder why it showed five um, memory orbs instead of the three needed. Probably it's just a generic thing. Um, uh, 
Also, I if I remember right, to the moon, you all there were always five memory orbs. This actually led to some weird, janky issues where like they were memory orbs that didn't really have any purpose, you know. And if I remember right, finding paradise got rid of that. Um, direct to direct human to machine memory interfacing. That's right. So this is like the origin story of Sig Corp. It looks like. You don't have to worry about that. Knowing your area of expertise, you only expect your help with the former. So this is what he saw in the beginning, that she didn't... No, anyway, yeah. Um, I might have to... This is, might be one of those, like, stories where you have to experience it multiple times to really, like, understand everything. You know, like, the usual suspects and whatnot. Um, uh, so what you're doing here would be far beyond the scope of any other on your list. You understand why it's not on the public posting, don't you? I suppose so, but why me? Surely there are more experienced candidates. Well, we've done our background check in your particular situate. Oh, you, we could always use some fresh perspective. That's all. And don't sell yourself. Don't sell yourself short. Your paper speaks for itself. Aye, there's no reason for self doubt. <laughs> imposter. Oh, imposter factory. Imposter syndrome is commonplace among talents. Don't let it get to you. Well. I do certainly have imposter syndrome. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a talent. Um, <laughs> a friend of mine once sent me a picture that's really great. It's um, a meme. It's like, are you even good enough to have imposter syndrome? <laughs> really funny. Um, shall we go sign the NDAs and witness some miracles firsthand? But I already signed NDAs before coming here. Oh, there are always more NDA. NDA and waivers. Waivers? Bureaucracy, you better learn to love the paperwork. Oh boy. Non disclosure agreements. So what I'm guessing my, my guess is that there are two lin like the lin the two linaries you saw, one of them was like the person who's using the machine, and one of them is the memory itself. And so it looks like this is the memory itself, but also well we haven't seen Winry, or Winry. Now I'm now I'm just straight up Freudian slipping and calling her Winry Winry Rockbell. Um, but uh, Linry, uh, we 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 didn't see Linry in the until the um, uh, um, sorry, we didn't see Linry in the first video. Uh, how how do I how do I put this? Um, we we did not see Linry. In we haven't seen real Linry, if I recall correctly, since it's been about a week since I last played this game. Um, we, we didn't see. Sorry, um, I knew it. I think if that's what I think it is, it's hideous. Um, it's in a printer from the last century. Century for once, I kind of agree with Victor. At least that was a pretty pretty good burn. Um, but the um. What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I don't think we've seen Linry since the last, since the first video I did on this, since the beginning of the game. The the, the one who is actively interfering with the memories. He, as Dr. Hayden said, it is only a prototype. Although he does have a taste for rather vintage aesthetics. Okay. Not one to judge a book by its cover, but... If this has the quantum com computational com capabilities that you proclaimed, it's unbelievably small. I do also kind of like Louie. <laughs> and, and I know we've made significant progress on cooling, but to practically eliminate it... No, this is a most this is mostly a wired client connected with to the computing center. Okay, so it's like, um... Well, yeah, it's like there's a... Sir, this is like more of a monitor and the computer's elsewhere. Um, most of the calculation is done elsewhere. That being said, even with this with sub cerebral data, it's, it's astounding potential is evident. That's true. So I'm curious as to like I know that this is in the near future, like to the moon is and then whatnot. But like I'm curious as to how, what exact time it is set in. Um, we should show the actual demo before everything froze. Oh, a matter of fact, he is. He's not like oh shit, everything froze. It's never happened to me before. It's like. Aw, oh, man, it had to freeze at just the wrong moment. Alright, so another memory. Let's see. So that wasn't a horror game, is, which was interesting. Um, 
Oh, they, they're moving in together. Oh, wow. So now another tone shift. I'm amazed at how, how much the tone shifts don't feel jarring to me. I'm not sure, like, what's the diff what the difference is between a jarring and not jarring tone shift. Um, uh... Should I go home, didn't you? We have another thing like this. I mean, the Yu Haynes Foundation. Whatever you do there, I'm sure it'll be cutting edge. Still. Hey, it's okay. I know how much this means to you. And don't worry, I'm sure I'll figure something out for myself here, too. Thanks, Quince. I'm glad you're here. Of course. Quincy, that's his name. Um, of course, I promised I would. Anyhow, let's just settle down and get you some rest. Can't you have your sleepwalking on your first day tomorrow? I actually have a cousin who has a very un unusual Q name. A name I've actually never heard uh, someone else. Well, he's... His father, my uncle, is also has that same name. But anyway, but those are the only two I, I know. I'm not going to say what, what what it is because I because of privacy, you know. But I I'm um I'm I'm I, I'm worried I might slip up at some point and just say their their names. Um, the legendary spare room. It could be anything. It could be a study room or a pinball room or a mini golf room. That would be a tiny mini golf course or a throne room. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Sup, Quince? Good old mattress again. I just realized I'm playing as Quincy and I just said sup, Quince. Um, why does it feel like it's going, like going from one dorm to another? It's kind of cozy if you ask me. Makes me think of camping. You've never really gone camping before, have you? Well, she went stargazing with her father. Is this going? Is this Eva? Okay, this is. I get. This is. I again. I know. I'm just doing a bunch of like far fetched theorizing, but part of me is like, is this? Is this Neil's mother? Because he mentions in To the Moon going stargazing with his grandpa. Um, and she goes start grazing with her father, and they maybe he has the same condition that she has. Um, again, I know that's like a super tenuous connection. They really had a golden toilet, gold plated or solid. That's what I'm curious about. I'm guessing, I'm guessing plated, because I mean either way, it's ridiculous and ostenta ridiculously ostentatious. But I'm, but the, but it's interesting because, um, I mean, I don't even know if a salt, considering how like heavy and soft of a metal gold is, I'm curious as to whether, um, whether gold, like a gold plated toilet, like you could actually make a toilet out of solid gold. I don't know. Now I'm just imagining like El Dorado, like someone finding El Dorado and realizing it's like the Gilded Age. You know, like, it's just the tiniest sheen of gold over everything. Well, or it's just all gold painted. I just took a gold sharpie to El Dorado. Um, well, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a, a person attached to your hair bun. And she looks kick-ass. Back by supper. Oh, you're going to do great. Okay. This makes the whole intro where she's just super weirded out by this guy. Interesting. Um, Alright, let's see what we got over here. What is with this, like, V looking thing? <laughs> Someone in a Guy Fox match just pops out. <laughs> What's this music, too? Also, I just noticed the angel at the top of the fountain. Who's that? Oh, is that, um, is that a real fox? No, it's just a sentient fox tail. Of course it's a real fox. It's a real shy fox. The other one is, the others have already arrived. Rika waits for you inside. I was just, I was gonna say, is this the, um, is this the party, but... I don't think it, she's not wearing the same outfit as she was in the party, if I recall correctly. Um, so yeah. 
the hell is this? This is like even even weirder than the like panel like comic panelization of of the scenes in, at, at the beginning. Um, it is interesting. How those seem to have gone away. Um, I mean, they fit the more like jarring, you know, dramatic opening, you know, murder mystery opening of the game. Um, uh, and secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Oh, it's not a secret tunnel. Never mind. Well, hold on. actually, it might be a secret tunnel. Is it a secret tunnel? Going down. I always dreamed about like having a house with like secret passages in the walls, and um, also just like having a um uh, um. Uh, Oh, what was I going to say? This sounds like spy music. Um, uh, I always dreamed of a house with uh, having secret tunnels and, and, um, and, sorry, a house with secret tunnels and, um, and, you know, like hiring the architect, like saying to the architect, you know, don't tell me where everything is. Um, which is my guess. It's also uh, one of the most discreet. Wow, this whole place. Is there something off about this place? This robot. I knew it. It was never just a rice cooker, was it? The rice cooker is on the loose again. <laughs> hey, get back here. If the ship slip it down the shaft again, I swear I'm gonna... It's a rice cooker. Okay. Come, I'll give you a tour. I'm just thinking now of, like, what Picard says every time, um... You know, and, and, and I love, like, one of the, like, little details I love about Star Trek The Next Generation is, like, how all the characters, like, the their way of, um, uh, their way of, like, there's just saying come into their room, like, says a lot about them. You know, like, Picard's is a, is come, you know, like, he's not, ang it's not angry or it's, or, um, um, or, you know, like, uninviting, per se, but it's certainly not polite, either. You know, or Worf's like, ENTER! You know, because it's very Worf. Or uh, Data, I think, what is Data? It's like, come in, please, or something like that. I, I can't remember what Data is exactly. Um, uh, what do these people have to say? Friendship, yell yeah, they have names, you know. Yeah, what are they again? I don't know, but they have them, is all I'm saying. Now I'm thinking of that, um... That conversation you can have with Dr. Chakwis in uh, Mass Effect. I think it's... I can't remember if it's Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 3. Where, you know, they allude... Shepard's like, you never you never say my first name. And Chakwis is like, and I'm not going to. Um, which I think is funny. Also, the... Um, um, uh, uh, what, was I, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. One of the ra random complaint about the Mass Effect games, I'm gonna do a series on Mass Effect eventually. Um, one of the things I I will say, and I'll probably bring it up again during that series though, is um, I really wish that Mass Effect, like, like I, obviously if they give if that you name your characters, you know, give your character a first name, they're not going to be able to use that in voice lines. But I wish they used it in like the emails you get or or whatever. I don't know. Um, thanks, we gotta got a place elsewhere. Every time they say elsewhere now, I think of, like, the Tamriel province. Is that where the Elder Scrolls Six is gonna be? Um, is that also, you know... Yeah, I'm recording... The, at the time of recording, the Elder Scrolls Six has not released. <laughs> and it will probably not be released long after anyone cares about this video. Let's see. Oh, I was just here. I was just here. Why Why am I going back into the cafe? I don't know. I'm dumb. Anyway. Um, so I wonder if Imposter Factory is going to have anything... Like, if that has anything to do with Imposter Syndrome or, when, or whatnot. This is... I love how different this looks. This is like... Like shorthand academic like 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 the movie archetype of a bookworm academic you know um uh, oh one of these days and i should talk about how much i hate the west wing the tv show <laughs> and how i used to like it and that's a that's another topic for another time that is not you know it's too too long and 
complicated to get into here. Now every time I see the West Wing, like just like people say something about a West Wing, I'm like, ah! I, I just, my nose is a bit congested. I, that I might sound different. Um, so that's um, free rice bot. Facilities and maintenance, but Dr. Clegg is here as we speak. Isn't Clegg, or Clegg, isn't that the name of, like, the the guy in um, Attack of the Clones? Clegg Lars or something? I don't know. I, I, um, I, I don't know how embarrassed I should be that I know that. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I remember Louie. Wait, is it possible to like start the conversation from like right, like right, um, like right, right here where I'm at now? And if so, would would Ricebot push you out of the way or not? I don't know. Also, why could Ricebot see me when no one else could? I do love that little echoing effect. And in we go. Once more into the breach. Who in hell is the project? I'll try my best to apply my findings. Your paper? I've read your paper. That's from something that she didn't know already. What do you mean? Huh. The findings are not published. This is some purest academia spreading knowledge for the betterment of humanity. Yeah, that's my problem with it. Say money, but the interest groups involved are a lot more complicated than that. That's fair, you know. Just because something isn't altruistic doesn't mean it's necessarily money-based. Um, if it's in the world, this is the place. Maybe a while before the public gets a taste, but here, here's where it all starts. So we are about halfway through getting all the data. I'm curious as to what more will be there afterwards. Uh, one of my Steam friends, who I don't think I've ever met, you know, in real life, um, has like three hours um, logged in this game. But as far as I'm aware, they don't have the achievement for finishing it. So, uh, yeah, I'm wondering how long this game is, basically. <laughs> Just that it's just an homage. It didn't even look like this with the glass back then. Well, they certainly do love their vintage aesthetics. Let's go through this door again. When are we going to get to Neil and Eva? Because I think they're going to be in this game because they were like in the trailers and whatnot. Okay, we got another like interactive montage I, I just realized that these are basically montages I don't can't believe I didn't notice that before um, she's going to work and like um, getting some award arguing with this guy Interesting. I do like these little montage bits um, also I've been trying to like when I when I choose thumbnails for these videos I'm like deliberately trying to you know like I feel like the the montages would be um, eye-catching um, you know and but I also don't like I'm worried that they would be spoilers um, so I'm not um, yeah so I don't usually use them um, I mean, on some level, thumbnails are always going to have a bit of spoilerage in them. Uh, if you if you know like nothing about the game, but you know, obviously there's there's thumbnails that spoil things more and thumbnails that spoil things less. Um, uh, it's amazing carrot cake you'll ever eat. Noise. And we and we get another. So we get the home. The home life. Oh, well, not all the home life. Not a, oh, there's the cat! I'm trying to... I, now I want to call this um, video, like, make some allusion to uh, Secret Tunnel, but I don't know what exactly it would be. Because it needs to be... It needs to be something that's, like, two syllables. 
Um, I think about it. Um, uh, secret cafe. <laughs> secret cafe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Chances are, if I've if I've actually named it, called that the thumbnail Steam viewers, you probably already know um, what I um, um, you probably already know what I called it. Um, not more about the residence off Ruth Linry. We even have a make it room ready for you. Everything would surely be easier that way. Yeah, well, easier is not always better. Would <laughs> he said the painful? Pa he said a painfully obvious fact. <laughs> Was that a DualShock 4? I mean, it looks... I know it's probably just a generic game controller thing. But it's probably like... I mean, it looks a lot like a PlayStation 4 controller. I need to... I, that, now I'm thinking about Heaven's Ball, the game I've been recording with a PlayStation 4 controller. And now I'm like, I really need to finish that game at some point. <laughs> I shouldn't be damn it. Progress is progress. Um... That's not, that's a bad idea. You know, I think regulations are a necessary evil within our current, you know, framework. But it doesn't, but again, like this is, you know, they're a necessary evil because this is what happens when you're in a, you know, hyper capitalist, you know, cult of progress, you know, and rapid progress, and you're still, um, uh, oh man. So this is a, this is the this is an, an inversion of the dad you work too much trope. Um, uh, it, I, one of the things that I always found interesting about Lindsay Ellis videos is she taught she often references how how much she hates the um, dad you work too much trope, and I find that interesting because it it doesn't bother me that much, but I can see why. And, and you know, like I also have like I feel I want I feel like everyone has their own weird hangups, like weird pet peeves and with tropes and whatnot. You know, like I hate most arranged marriage stories. You know, and yeah, and whatnot. Anyway, um, I feel like I was talking about something before that tangent, but I can't remember what, what it was now. A campus on your own. We've got this place. You're seriously thinking about it. Now it's every night. Something amazing. Change the world. I mean, yeah. This sounds like the theme that bit, that musical bit. I don't know if it was actually audible um, in the video, but the da 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 da, like that sounds like um, the theme for Eel and ne ne Eel and Neva, <laughs> Eel and Neva. The search, the search for for Eel and Neva. That might have to be the the, the title for this video. Anyway, the subtitle. Anyway, um, um, but the um, it sounds like their theme. Da 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I played these. I played way too much of Freebird games. Um, I meant what I said. And I've been trying so hard to do just that. It's just we'd still be able to. Do more. Yeah, like oh, you know, like yeah, oh, yeah. Obviously, you know, working late is a prop, but like you don't seem to be sitting any time aside for your relationships you know and if that's and if that's your your choice you know that's your choice obviously but it you know you can't expect him to stick around forever um uh, i don't know again like obviously like her working and sometimes you know like working a lot isn't necessarily a problem but it sounds like it is starting to become a problem. Oh, this is a very shitty situation. Um, I 
So I'm curious as to what, like, I'm how, what is this guy exactly? Like, why is he able to tell what's going on when the others can't? Why does he not, you know, like, what stage of life is he? He looks like, I think he looks a bit older than the other versions. So, oh, is this the murder? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no, he got... He pro uh, look okay. My first guess, and I'm not sure if this is gonna end up being true. My first guess is that he got you know like over like he got worked. He like got like hypertension or whatever. Um, one of oh wait. So he did the he put the headset on and it like fucked up his brain or something. Oh, God. Let's see. What do we got here? In we go. What do we have? Oh, oh, so this is, oh crap, so this is why, this is, I remember hearing like some explanation, this is something that was always kind of implied and explained, but I can't remember when in the, in the original game, um, uh, in the original games, it might have, it might be paratextual, it might not be in the games itself, um, I can't remember, but you know, like, the, the reason they only do it on dying patients is because it, like, ruins your brain otherwise, um, so I just, you know, now it's like, oh, we're finally seeing what happens when you don't do that, because they're testing it out. Head of a little step it's her idea. Oh, he's dead. Oh, so he's he's not straight up. He's straight up not. Now I'm thinking about when. Um, well, I was gonna say it, but it's it's um, very tangentially related, and it would be a spoiler for Full Metal Alchemist. So I'm not gonna. It's not worth it. Um, I know there's a statute of limitations on spoilers, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go out of my way to spoil something. Um, so he's like straight up, I thought he, he was like going to the hospital, but I guess it's, there wasn't an ambulance there, so yeah. Um, but why would they carry him out on the stretcher? Like, why would they carry out his body on the stretcher? She left. So is she dying now, or is he dying? What is she, like, I, I kind of forgot about, again, because it's such a, like, it's such a common, it's one of those things that's so, you know, like, if you play these games and think about their worlds enough, you know, it's one of those, like, things that, you know, yeah, you don't really think about it, you know, yeah, of course they don't use it on, you know, non-terminal patients, you know, they, um, oh, crap, is he gonna leave? I'm back early, what's wrong? I want to go, go live with the residents, no, she wants to get out of here. Oh, she wants to go see the world. Well, good for them, yeah. Oh, and she's probably like, it would have been her. Like, she was the one who was supposed to do it had she not been late. You know, so she would have died. And so now there's a, both a, like, I almost died thing and probably some, like, survivor's guilt, you know? Um... Uh... Jeez, yeah. Oh, this is... I have been in probably much more... I've probably been in airports much more than most people my age have been. Um, um, but this does... This, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know why I feel the need to point this out, but this does feel like an airport. Um, I don't, again, I don't know why that's relevant. But. Hey, we've seen the Eiffel Tower! Which was like my least favorite part of Paris. I think I talked about that earlier. Um, it's beautiful. Well, like, I mean, yeah, it's, it looks pretty cool. Um, I was more talking about like the drawing, you know, the colors and whatnot. 
I mean, the Eiffel Tower doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look particularly great to me. It is funny to think about how, like, people hated it when it first was made. Oh, I forgot that about, like, people like this. You know, like, like the type of, you know, those, like, weird, you know, rug souvenir stands. Forgot about those. Um... Stonehenge. I don't think I went to... I've ever actually been to Stonehenge. I've been to England. You know, a lot of things. But, um... Uh, if, it, if I did see Stonehenge, it would, it would have been, like, from the road. We went to Avebury, I think is what it was called. It was a lot bigger in terms of, like, service area, but it wasn't as impressive as this. Um... Again, I'm still like, it still amazes me how this game has two, has like two tones basically, that oscillates between it, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, I think I already talked about that earlier, so. I gotta know, like, I have never been to Egypt, so I don't know what, I don't know if, how accurate this is. Um, yeah. What is that pose? What the hell? That is a very strange ad. Um, so let's see. You know, this is this is the thing. You know, this is what I talk, was talking about with the uh, thumbnails. You know, like the the um, you know, like putting this type of image of the Great Wall of China wouldn't be like out of context. It doesn't seem like a spoiler, but if you've played like the first you know half hour of the game, like I did up. For this video, it would be a spoiler. Like, oh, they do leave. They do go, you know, out to the. Um, they do see the world, you know. They. Oh. Yeah. One of the most interesting things about the sculpt, the statue of David, which is unfortunately something that you don't really can't really experience when you're not actually looking at the statue, <laughs> um, is that it's, like, it looks different from where you're standing. Um, uh, like, it, you know, the, the image that most people see, you know, what he was covering her eyes from is from the front, and where and he looks, like, super, um, uh, like, you know, he's, you know, you've probably seen the picture. He's, like, heroic, and, you know, David, he's strong, and whatnot. But if you go behind, like, this doesn't, unfortunately, the sprite doesn't really capture it. Um, but if you go behind, it looks like, he's, like, kind of looking over his shoulder at you. And it, like, looks almost menacing. Um, also, I know this is not going to be the case. But I really want to see if I can, yeah, it doesn't look like I can go. I want, like, over here, like, in the Uffizi is where I think it is. Um, wherever, wherever the David is. I know I've been there, but I can't, I think it was the Uffizi, but I can't remember. It might have been a different, under a different name. But there's the, the prisoners. If you haven't heard of them, you should really look them up. They're really cool because they're basically unfinished, unfinished Michelangelo sculptures. And when, and they look, you know, they're really rough. You know, they're not as polished as the David. And they're also like, they, they're called the prisoners because they, oh boy. Oh, first, first kneel on the lighthouse and now this. Oh, hey, Venice. Um... I actually went to Venice, uh, we went to Venice, um, during, um, I'm, actually I'm gonna focus on this, uh, cutscene. Oh yeah, the, oh, the reason they're called the prisoners, prisoners is because they look like they're trying to escape from a rock, from the, from the rock, you know, um, uh, I, we actually, so we went to Venice in, uh, in February, uh, we went to Italy in February, you know, when, when my family lived there, it was, it, you know, Went to, also, why did they go to France and then Egypt and then China and then, if I remember correctly, like, France and then Egypt. And, oh, she's getting sick. Um, France and then Egypt and then China and then, um, uh, uh, France, is she, is this, I really hope this is, I really want to be proven correct and also I hope she's not dying. So I really hope this is like morning sickness because she's pregnant with Neil and not, you know, she's gonna die. Um, anyway, but, you know, so it's like they went to... This is, like, such a petty, convoluted, you know, nitpick. But I'm like, so they go to France and then to, um... 
and then to Egypt, and then to China, and then back to Italy? What? Why would you do it in that order? Anyway, um, not a big deal. <laughs> I just, I think that's kind of funny. Um, but we actually went to Venice, pardon the tangent, skip ahead if you want to skip it, um, we actually, we went to Venice in February, well, we went to Italy in February, and we were actually in Venice during Car Carnival, Carnival, um, I don't know, I was trying to, like, do an accurate pronunciation, but I don't know, I don't think I succeeded, um, and so it was really cool, because, like, there were all these people in, like, these cool, like, you know, weird outfits, and we actually took a picture in, like, the uh, St. Mark's Square, and, um, and we got, like, our pictures taken, like, we got photobombed by some people, um, we got photobombed by some people, like, one, I remember just, like, standing, in, you know, in line with my family, you know, this is back when I was, like, in eighth grade, and one of the, like, I just see this, like, fake, like, even at the time, like, even in my memory, it's, like, obviously fake, but I see this, like, fake rapier just, like, like, come out to the side of me, and it's just, I don't know, it's cool. Um, it was a cool experience. Anyway, now, now back to the depressing stuff. Airsick from the bumpy ride. Yeah. I've never been airsick. I, don't think. I wonder, like, I'm curious as to, like, I have been, so I, as I alluded to earlier, I've been, like, flying on planes for as long as I can remember. I, I, I don't remember, I don't ever remember a time when I had not, when I, when I had never, like, visited an airport before. I'm, obviously, there was a time before I had visited an airport, but, um, I, and I think this is really interesting because um, I, part of me wonders if I don't get airsick because, like, my body is, has accumulated to flying from a young age. That is totally, you know, not scientific at all. Just pure speculation. So take it with a massive grain of salt. I just, but I think that's interesting. Um, yeah, she's, um, uh, please let it be pregnancy and not, yes, I was right. Woo! Is this not planned? I mean, no, but, but, her files, her condition. Okay, this is, like, I, part of me is like, is this game just, like, laying out its breadcrumbs more obviously than I thought, or am I just, like, really good at guessing what they're gonna do? Um, put this, show some form of hereditary risk factors. Huntington's. Is that a real thing? It's funny because, um, uh, okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a weird thing to say, you know, um, you know what, I'm actually not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, um, because it's not as applicable as I thought I would, and it would probably do a lot of harm to phrase it that way, and it, <laughs> it hurts me, honestly. Anyway, um, I might um, say that at some point, but um, uh, let's see. Okay. So wait, is this like is Neil going? Is Neil dying? And is he? Okay, I still don't know. It's Neil. But I think, I think it's, um, I, I think it might be Neil. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I've only, I'm not a parent, um, as far as I know, no, I've never, I'm actually still a virgin, so it's almost, it's like, like, the, the idea of me being a parent is just like, like, I can, like, that would only be possible through, through some, like, sci-fi, like, weird shenanigans and whatnot, um, but the... From what I've heard other people say, you know, parents, like, like being parent is a big deal. Being a parent is a big deal. Um, uh, 
Oh, yeah. So more than just that. Now I'm trying to remember if this is if this is Neil's um if this is Neil's mother does he ever mention her? Cuz I remember he mentions that he had to pretend to be um to have been asleep during the stargazing with his grandfather but I'm not sure whether or not he was, um, uh, I'm not sure whether or not he was, um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm not sure whether he mentioned his, his father, his mother, or, like, um, in, in between. Like some, um, like some, uh... Um, uh, something in between, like he's some, uh, like, like if he just said his parents, I can't remember. Um, I hope, I hope he's, um, uh, I hope, I, 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 I hope he mentions either his mother or both his parents, because that means she doesn't, she's not dead in that memory. She hangs up the lab coat. Um... You know, that's the choice she made. Um, anyway, um, ordinarily, like in ordinary situations, I um, I would say that it's a neutral thing. You know, like it's not it's not something to be praised for, but it's also not something, you know, it's not a bad thing to give up a career if, if you want to raise kids or whatever. Um, in this case, it's like considering the ethics of the company she was working for and the obsession it caused and the strain it put on her relationships... It's probably a good thing that she did it. Anyway, um, oh, they're getting an ultrasound. Oh. He looks like he's about the same age. This is this guy. So I still don't know what's going on. Also... A lot of, like, so the, considering that this is a, seems to be a prequel, um, and it's, like, doing a lot of the, like, the, like, kind of, like, so, okay, so a lot of prequels have the problem of just being, like, here's a thing that gets, you know, that, you know, they, like, ham, hand, ham, handedly shove, you know, like, a thing the audience recognizes in, and uh, that's a legitimate criticism of, like, you know, the... Like the Star Wars prequels and the um, the um, uh, you know the Fantastic Beast movies, which I actually like them. I remember liking them. I'm also you know, I'll be <laughs> it'll be a cold day in hell before I um, before I give any more money to J.K. Rowling unless she you know decides not to be <laughs> transphobic anymore. Um, but the um, but I actually remember liking the, the like, kind of like it's guilty, but kind of like the Star Wars prequels. Like, I see a lot of the flaws there, but I still kind of love them. Um, but anyway, but, like, this doesn't feel like that. This doesn't feel like a guilty pleasure or just something that someone like. Like, this does feel, um, uh... So you think it has something to reminisce about. That's funny. Um, um, so the, uh, uh, this doesn't feel the same way. And I'm not sure... Tobias, okay. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure why it feels different. I'm not sure what exactly makes it different, but. Anyway. It's like, it's a boy, boy. It's just, I would love it if there is, like, some allusion to that, you know, it's just, um, Quincy says, like, You're not ready, Neil. Although they do seem to be pushing the name Tobias. Um, uh, um, I'm trying to think if there was a character named Tobias in the originals. 
Probably not. Might have been like the rival, like Neil's rival from Finding Paradise, but um, I don't know. It is actually interesting how both. Well, I guess no, they did have a kid in um, in Finding Paradise. They didn't have it in To the Moon. It was also odd, you know, like not the fact that they didn't have a kid, but the fact that like it never really came up into the moon. Uh, I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm like making out making my favorite game of all of all time out to be a something I didn't like, which is you know not true. I it's my favorite game of all time. Um, but, um, there's also, like, in terms of, like, weird nitpicky stuff, there's more of that, I think, into the moon. Because, like, it was kind of weird how they didn't even bring up the subject, you know? They didn't even bring up, like, oh, yeah, they, like, just one line of, eh, we don't really want kids or whatever. It feels like something, like, even if you, like, both parties have no interest in having kids, it should probably be something that's at least brought up. Anyway... And it's mentioned in Finding Paradise, but it's like one scene and it's like an afterthought, you know? So it is it is interesting that now we have a game that has childbearing and we like see, you know, like we get a fast forward of through the whole pregnancy, you know? Um, well, it's not using a smoke machine. Okay, that has to be, that must have been written, you know, like as a deliberate, you know, like joke slash like expression of anger at you know gender reveal party starting wildfires was that your stomach too no that wasn't nope wasn't your stomach all right still beating strong in there uh oh. It's not something wrong with the baby, it's something wrong with Linry. Oh no, no. Oh. oh, please don't go bad. It's gonna go bad. It's, um. Um, are they still alive? Okay, if, the, if her dad is dead, then there goes my whole, like, hypothesis about, um, about, um, about, like, Neil's dad being one of the characters. Um, but the, the fact that this is, like, they are, in fact, Neil's parents, you know? Um... Any different lifetimes. That's interesting because when I consume media, I have a tendency to to see to like gravitate towards characters, you know, that that make me see myself in them. You know, not as much as not so much as like seeing other different lifetimes. You know, like reading about characters that are very different from me is also interesting to me. But like, there's a reason I really like River into the Moon or Data from Star Trek: The Next Generation, etc. You know. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster, for that matter. Um, the little prince. And it is... I'm trying to think if there was, you know, like, obviously, like, in To the Moon, they had the Emperor's new clothes, you know, and <laughs> Dusklight. Um, but... Um, uh, I try, and there's, I think there was something else, um, but I can't remember. I'm trying to remember if there was something like that for Finding Paradise, some, like, literary illusion that had, like, a big through line. Um, uh, why did this Quincy, debatably real Quincy, have any, uh, have a, uh, why did he say Toby? Also, why did, oh, it flashed because she's, you know, oh, oh. So wait, is this 
this is her memory. He's like, isn't this gonna end soon? I don't know. Most of the data is downloaded. We got a hospital, but like I just realized, this is like a weird like line art, <laughs> like a vector graphics version of a of a taxi, um, or ambulance. I don't know why I said taxi. Sure. But they need to oh. Oh. yeah I I know some um some people who have um Including in my family who have had, you know, like, these types of things. You know, like, not, as far as I'm aware, not have been parents during a premature birth, but, you know, like, have been um, born prematurely, and it's, you know, it can lead to problems. And, uh, anyway. um, then again, a lot of the problems with the, the person I'm thinking of, who I'm not going to name or give any more details about, are less to do with, like, what happened to them, and more to do with, like other factors in their life, you know, that were, that, that contributed to kind of, anyway, that's, I don't want to, I'm worried that I'm like, like, I'd have to give more information to explain the nuance of what I'm saying, and I don't want to give more information, but anyway. Um, uh, oh, man, it must really suck to be a doctor in that context. It's interesting because it looks like she's, I mean, it's probably like she's like turning away, like turning back towards them while she's at the door, but it, it looks like she's talking directly to Quincy. Saying it so you don't have to. Oh. I mean, I'm personally like, I don't know. I, I'm not. This is one of those situations where I'm just like, I don't think I can judge these characters, whatever choice they make, you know, like this is just a shitty, shitty situation, you know, and it should be, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's a lot, you know, all right, I think I'm going to go until like all the data is full and see what happens and then call it for today, I mean, heck, this might be the final episode, um, probably not though, um, Looks like they're, so are they going to, are they going to induce birth, or are they going to, um, do something else, I don't know. Alright. Are you feeling clear? So they, they did the, wanted them for another couple months. Oh. I'm gonna get so far. Dude, it grows up. So what would, if this is Neil, 
I'm not again. I'm not sure. I'll probably find out soon, considering like questioning what they name him. The heck, he might have changed his name, or it might just not be Neil. Um, but if they name him, if if that's what he's um, if that's what he's named, um, uh, if that is Neil. I'm curious as to like why he decided to join Sigmund Corp. What his mom thinks of that and, and whatnot. Um, oh, there's the there's the nursery. Adam Stroller. I don't know. Like at a certain point, I don't have anything to say. You know, a lot of these like really simple, you know, life scenes that well, one, I don't have any experience with, and two are um, are are just you know, like there's not much to analyze there. You know, it's you know they're raising the baby. Uh, he's finishing painting the wall. So they, they haven't, I, I'm totally looking into this too much, but they haven't named him, they haven't, they haven't given him a name, how do I put this? They have not explicitly said what his name is yet, you know, which might be nothing, or it might be because they wanted to reveal that he's Neil later, um... Let's see. He does kind of look like Neil. Also, this room looks a lot like Colin's room from Finding Paradise. Oh. Also, I, I'm trying to remember if we ever found out the last names of um, of these um, characters. Do we ever find out the last name of Colin in Finding Paradise? I think think so the only one i remember is river and that's not even her real last name you know that's yeah anyway um uh... it looks sad can't say i wouldn't i wouldn't be sad if i was in his situation um I mean, heck, this guy, this guy's like kind of a player avatar still, you know, like obviously he's a copy of, um, of, um, Colin, but it looks like he's not any, um, it looks like he's not any different, so, uh, uh, I mean, it, sorry, he's, did I say, wow, I, I think I said a lot of wrong things there. He's not, I think I said Colin, um, I meant Quincy. Um, Quincy does look like Colin, though. He's like a copy of Quincy, but I still don't think he memorizes. He's remembered what Quincy, like, um, who Quincy is, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Bias, so it's not, it's not Neil, huh? Well, well he might have changed his name, but, but that's probably not what happened. It probably just is not Neil. But I remember like hearing that they were gonna be in this game. Neil and Neil were gonna be in this game. I'm still waiting on that. The old telescope. Could use a little Dustin, but still, or maybe heck, maybe Neil's his middle name. Stars haven't left, huh? Oh. 
Wait until he was a little older. And they got to see it like that for the first time once. It's actually going to be appreciated as one of just pretty lights in the sky. Well, River certainly appreciated it when she was young. And I think Linry appreciated it. Let's see how lovely all the lavender are. She lied. Oh, interesting. Not really because I wanted to. Uh, they all. Ironically, Rivers. Similar to Rivers' star metaphor. Uh, they all look the same from up here. That doesn't make them any less pretty. Should I ever read this line? But I know those who leave a mark often never set out to do so. If so, nevertheless, and often the most unexpected. This might be something I'm... Like, every... Like, I don't understand how every Freebird game, like, tells me something I need to hear when I'm playing it, you know? In a weird way, I am I'm actually really glad that this game wasn't, you know... Oh, okay, like, I guess in a, when I say that, yeah, it doesn't sound very weird. What I was going to say was that at first, like, I'm really glad this game is making me really sad. <laughs> um, I don't know. But I'm, um... Uh, I'm, uh... Um, but, but what I'm, what I'm saying, what I am... What I meant was, like, I'm glad this game wasn't as much about bloody murders as it was initially initially appeared to be. Oh, no. Oh. Well, what's going on now? Why are they all grayed out? He's gonna be dead. So why is it raining all of a sudden? Anyway. And we're back. Oh, wait. No, this isn't the same. Oh, no. No. It's just, I can't even imagine what that feels like. Which is kind of like it's something I don't actually say very often because I've, I've been through a lot, but nothing like this. to work for them. So 
Now she's back to sitting by herself and doing all the doing, focusing purely on her work, like in her college days. Who's calling her? Why is her phone? Or I guess it might not be someone calling her. But why is her phone vibrating like that? A little time lapse moment. That's interesting. This isn't the end of the game, is it? I hope it's not. This would be a very like. I mean, not not like this would be unsatisfying and kind of empty. Which you know, as sad as the as the games as the you know previous two games are, I wouldn't say they ever left me feeling empty. You know, but, um, um, uh, maybe this is, um, what was I going to say? Um, uh, uh, is that her? Is she, so now she's, she's old. Um, so is this like, is she dying? Is this what she's doing? Anyway, um. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember what I was, um, going to say. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, it was something I really wanted to... Oh, yeah. No, as, as sad as the older games made me feel, they never left me feeling empty. Um, I, I, I do not think this is the end of the game. Um, I really hope not. Um... Still working? You know, more tests never hurts. <laughs> Not gonna argue with you there. With you there. More tests never hurts. Well, if the test, if the test kills you, then it probably does. See, so yeah, it looks like I was wrong about that. Um, about it being. About it being Neil. I just wish. I was. I was just wish it wasn't. I wasn't wrong in the way that I was. If that makes any sense. Um, initialize. Come back, doctor. Wait, she has. Just entity reference. Search memories for snow. So wait, did she figure out how to do this without the um without dying? Go back. Aww. Is she, is this like, um, oh, there's something, there's some story I remember now about someone who like, keeps revisiting past memories. Oh, uh, Inception, kind of. Um, I don't even watch Inception again. It's been a while. Um, not really Eternal Sunshine. There's something I don't think it was Inception that I was thinking of too. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, esteemed viewers. Something, some story where someone like, in response to a tragedy. I guess. Well, it's an aspect of Minority Report, which is something I've actually been thinking of a lot. You know, with the um, you know, the old kid dead and the parents distancing because of that um i never really felt like they sold the parents separation in those types of stories you know i always was like why are they like wouldn't this bring them closer together or at least not tear them apart but i don't know something about this one makes me like yeah i can see why they drifted after after toby's death um generality and traits keep extrapolating memories you know use generic memories Interesting. Oh, th this is him. Okay, every setting for artificial insertion matter. Choose one for me. Um. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Um, I think it was Minority Report that I was thinking about. Um. Uh, so this is this is she's setting up the start of the game now. Okay. So, did the murders happen? 
Or were they... Did she do them, like, in this fictional setting? Or, um... Oh, so she... She inserted herself into that body. So, wait. Were there actually two of her? Was she being deliberately deceptive? Or... Huh. Three... Two... One... And yeah, here's the start of the game. Okay, is that all the data? There we go. The data bar has been filled up. Uh, now this is some, you know, I feel like it's interesting how I reference movies a lot more than other games when I talk about this type of thing. Uh, this is because uh, I was just about to say this reminds me of Blade Runner. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna now we need to confront confront the issue. Is this really the end of the game? Did you actually yeah. have more questions, but I'm a theory theory that needs your help testing. Would you come back to the mansion with me? I don't really have a choice, do I? All right, let's see what let's see what's in the mansion. Yeah, oh boy, there's a lot going on here. Act three. Okay, so this was divided into acts. I somehow missed that. Forgot about it. All right, I think I'm going to call it for today once this scene is done. I don't know. Downstairs. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to... I want to actually watch the scene play out at least. What isn't it? I'm trying to get used to this being the real you. I didn't mean that in a bad way. And even then, why would you th why would you care about what I think anyway? Downstairs, I'm sure it will all be explained in time or something. Please don't let please don't like make the whole the whole like all the past two games be like simulations or whatever. Um uh, See, let's look at these guys first. These are all deactivated. Can I go outside? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I've been thinking this whole game. And the angel's gone. Yeah, where's the angel? Where's the angel? Oh, here's the gazebo. The gazebo! I would say like and subscribe if you got the reference, but I'm not sure, like, if that line was... I was referencing John Mulaney. Um, I'm not sure if that, like, if that line was specific enough to be clearly a, um, a reference. Fox isn't there. So the angel is gone. The fox isn't there. Um, so like, basically the things that evoke life, if are not, if not, are, if are not directly, you know, like you know, like angels are in a humanoid shape at least. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So. Um, should be interesting. Anyway, um, what else was I gonna say? Here's the old sink. I want to see what happens when you just an ordinary sink. Well, it was not that earlier, as we all saw, esteemed viewers. Soap bar. Why would you have both a bar, a soap bar, and and liquid soap in the same bathroom? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
anything interesting in here? Deactivate entities. At first, I thought it was saying like. At first, I thought it was like these entities. Like you are deactivating these entities, but you know, it seems like that's you know not the case. Like they, like it's more like they are. They have already been deactivated. Basically, it's like an error message. You know, four hundred one. You know, entity deactivated. <laughs> What's this the painting of? Oh crap! I wanted that. I'll check it when I get when I get back down stairs. Um, it's in here. The lighting shifted. It was it wasn't always this dark, was it? Also, I find it interesting that like now is the only time I can. Well, okay. The what was that? Series of contracts with smudged words. Interesting. Um, so the the laptops with physical uh, lock on it. I remember that one, but I think most of these, like I, either I didn't notice you could interact with them, or I, I just couldn't interact with them, which I find interesting. I think it's like supposed to say like you know this is what it actually is. You know this is this is you know the illusion is 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 done you know the wizards behind the curtain the emperor has no clothes on you know you see things for what they are have we ever actually been in this room i don't think so um all right so now i'm gonna check out this painting and then uh, um talk to talk to her um fancy lady with a fancy hat <laughs> now i'm thinking of mr hat from shovel knight what is and what's all this? Compiling a batch taste case to check for to check for certain suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Soon, I felt like I was in there for quite a while. You were in a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Interesting. Resuming comp compilation, sixty-seven percent. So while we're waiting, I have a question for you. For me, yes. Give him what you've seen. Give him what you've seen. Even though I'm a terrible, selfish person. Um. Okay, this is interesting. Yes, but no, but so it's either, you know, basically, yes, you are a terrible. My interpretation of this is, well, first of all, this is interesting because this is the really. I think this is the first time you've had like, the game present you with a choice that was like less about, you know, like what order do you want to do things in or like what wacky hijinks do you want to get up to, you know, like the opening to the moon and more about like actual philosophical questions. And I, and the other interesting thing is it's like, I, your choices are yes, but like, yes, you're a terrible person, but you have, you had uh, like good motivations or whatever, or no, but you know, you reacted to these terrible things that happened in your life in a bad way. I'm gonna go with no, but, but, um, um, uh, I can't say you did all the right things, but if people could have, yeah, exactly. Like I said earlier, I don't think there's a good answer to some of the problems they were in. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know. 72%. I see. So the time, so I'll return the favor. You like to ask me? Why? Why do you even care what I think? I mean, if I am what I am, why are you even talking to me as if I'm actually him? Because you... Because I'm supposed to be testing your believability, that's all. She thinks he is him, and or maybe, maybe she's setting up a twist. Also, the, um, um, uh, um, uh, should I guess any actual questions while there is time? Uh, yes! Um, uh, sync time travel. I know that time wasn't being around, but why did it do what it did? I think it never did anything. It was a coincidence. A series of coincidences. Coincidences that happened over and over. Um, uh, you were not reset. Okay. Interesting. Still above a 0% possibility. Um, uh, what was the murders happening here? It's a good point. 
Um, murders never happen. This is never happening. Um, uh, figure out why. Okay. Um, double Linry. We're two of you in the match. Okay. That makes sense. Um, uh, one last question. Okay, I gotta make it count. Um, time to room. I wanna ask you about the fountain statue. I'm, I'm also curious as to... What the hell? Um, uh, I'm actually curious as if that prompt... I'm, I'm assuming... My hypothesis is that prompt does not appear if you don't go out and look at the statue. Um, but, um, uh, uh, Quincy, she doesn't know. Hundred oh. percent. Well, let's see. I'm, I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this to the end. Possibly, depending on how much time is left. I don't know. I don't feel. I feel like I, like I. Don't, it feels like it would be weird to cut this video off and now, you know. Um, we had a batch of test scenarios with particular variables, notably the, the location of Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu and their intent. As for you, you'll be my observer. Observer? Yep, all you have to do is go into the rooms and look at them. Why am I... I just started thinking, like, I really need to finish the Banner Saga 3. I need to finish that game. Uh, it's easy, look at them. Check if they're dead. It's easy but less appealing. So science, other than a yay? Yes, yes, and definitely yes. So are these are these options like glitching out and whatnot? Um uh, diegetic or not? Um So like does he does like do I not have a choice or does Quincy and I not have a choice? That's an interesting question, I think. Um also, when she said it was for science, I was like, I was thinking, you know, this is, this was a triumph. I'm making a note here, still success. Also, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do this because I need to check and see if it will work with my current setup, you know, but assuming I can get Portal to, like, output a consistent video quality um, on, through OBS on my computer, I, my, my 100 subscriber special will be me finally playing Portal through to the end. Um... Um, so, if you want, you know, like and subscribe if you want to see that. Uh-oh. This is like the, those angels from Doctor Who that I know about through purely through osmosis because it seemed like one episode of Doctor Who at a friend's house and I had no, like, I did not have any, it seemed interesting, but there was like, it, I didn't have any of the context. Oh, they did. You shit. It's like, um, Winry's... Uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> yes! This could be bad. This is bad. They're dead. Okay, I'm going to log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Check the other rooms while I'm gone, alright? <laughs> Wait, you leave me alone to check for more bodies? See, issue you've already seen much worse earlier. I really hope this doesn't end. Like, it seems like this is just going to end in a depressing place, you know? Like, rather than a, like, kind of wistful, hopeful place, you know? Um, uh, I would argue that they're not, because, you know, regardless of what of how you were created or what you were physically made of, you know, this Quincy seems to be kind of, um, oh, it's the demon cat. Um, <laughs> he protect. <laughs> I actually did a, oh, actually... Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna say that because I don't. It. it I don't want to put it. I don't want to make this this information public. Be, I don't know. It's. Once again, it's kind of a privacy thing. Although it's, it's not like leaving it out would hurt other people, but it's. I don't know. I don't know how to. Again, it's one of those things. I don't know how to explain why I'm not saying it without saying it, which would do, negate the whole point. Anyway, um, tell me, do you really protect? You don't protect. <laughs> What the? I am system. Oh, I've seen you in your memories. Good. System supervises Quincy while Linry is gone. Do you now? 
Guess I'm gonna be babysat by a giant talking sound wave. Do not be afraid for this is not my final form. These games always have a weird, like, tone shift, you know? Like, even the earlier games had, like, humor and heaviness, kind of like one after the other. Um, um or even you may comprehend. Eh! Rice bot? Indeed. Rice bot was merely the humble beginning of my AI. And, like, they always seem to, like, manage these tone shifts really, really well. But now I am much more. I am the creator of worlds and cooker of rice. Taste my rice. Uh, taste it. I don't know. A lot of this humor is like, I, just, I don't know. I think it's really funny. And it, it's also, it's also funny because it's not like, you know, the normal type of humor I like is really like, it's like biting satire, you know, that kind of thing. You know, like, Mon like Life of Brian and whatnot. Um, uh, this is the tastiest rice I've ever eaten. This kind of actually reminds me, you know, of coincidentally Full Metal Alchemist, you know, where you have these like wacky anime hijinks mixed in with like genocide. <laughs> I need to know. There's no way to know. Um, but when Quincy completes mission, reward is more rice. What are we waiting for then? Let's go find them. Alright, you can come too. Cat question mark is joining the party. The party hall, the kitchen, the... Okay. Repeatedly until he dies. Oh, that would be a better way to put that. This... Okay. I don't know why now, like, I'm... I don't think I've mentioned Clue. I certainly haven't mentioned it that much here. Um, but I... I, um... <sighs> I think, like, I, I am surprised they haven't brought up Clue as much as they have now. And I don't know, something about it is, like, these icons just really remind me of the, um, anomaly detected. Of the Clue, you know, how, like, board and whatnot. I remember, like, being really disappointed. Like, I always thought Clue sounded like a really cool idea. This is a random tangent. But I always, I was always, like, kind of... Yeah, like it's not. It's not what I, I wanted to like act, actually make me feel like I was um, solving, you know, a mur doing a murder mystery. Um, and I like looking back. It's like, yeah, how are they? I I can't think of a way they could have made it. They could have done that to my satisfaction. But yeah, that's stop over time. <laughs> Wow, so power. I love the idea of him saying that, just like, wow, so powerful. Like, totally sarcastically. Alright. And then we're gonna go in and out of these doors. They're not gonna die? Oh, never mind. <laughs> No, they're not gonna. Well, it looks like I jinxed it. <laughs> okay, Lenry. What's going on? Lenry, what's going on? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, Linry, you're scaring me. <laughs> Just need a moment. What happened? What did you see out there? Nothing. Hey, you can tell me. It's not like I'm gonna run with it. Linry? Linry, initial tests were completed. The hypothesis holds. Continue? What hypothesis? Be there soon. Through are proceeding to party hall. Hypothesis? Please proceed to the party hall. Okay. It's starting. Yeah, it's the um, it's the demo for this point. It's variable, but all death tangents linked to this moment. They demo the machine for the guests. Affirmative. Data predicts that we will leave this room now. Everyone will die. Everyone here will die, Data predicts. And I'm just imagining, like, Brent Spiner being like, Yes, we 
the thing, all the data leads to the ina- the inevitable conclusion that they're gonna. I can't do a good data impression. Surprisingly hard, considering you would think it would just be like robot voice. Um, back room to confirm. And she's gone now. Offline again. She will be back. Meantime, please return to, the t- return to the party hall. And they did. All of them now. Not just the, the two... The two founders. <laughs> it gave me some serious Axiom Verge flashbacks. Another game I need to finish. <laughs> Why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? <laughs> leaving was not necessary for reset. Leaving was necessary for death. What? Whenever we look, they do not die. Whoa, what happened? I'm not certain. This isn't supposed to have never happened before. For this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit in basement is destroyed. Destroyed how? Data unknown. Resetting. <laughs> Mr. Rossetti's gonna have some strong words with a rice cooker. We'll go to basement. The core computing control room? Affirmative. Both sites will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly? Unknown. Guess I'll find out then. Do you remember the entrance? The pool table? Affirmative. Secret computer. Wait, no, that doesn't work. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yay. Ha ha. The cat's like, no. <laughs> Take this. Just leave the cat alone, it's fine. <laughs> and sure, why not? Okay, and we're gonna talk about how like like fucked up and creepy a lot of this a lot of the shit we get from the rice cooker is. Yeah, <laughs> the rice cooker is fucked up. That might I don't know, there's a lot I feel like there's a lot of good subtitle material here. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. Um Yeah. Part of me also is like, there's, I have this weird paranoia, you know, as I'm, you know, as I'm recording this, I want to like finish it as soon as possible because you know, all it takes is one jackass in the comments to spoil something for me. Like now I'm thinking about, um, about, um, something that, um, the, uh, lore runner said, you know, in his video on God of War or Dead of Boy, um, and how, um, you know, someone spoiled it to him on his something to him on his live stream. I'm obviously not gonna say what it is, you know. Um, but um, no, yeah, so I'm worried about that. I don't remember this hall being nearly this long before. Huh. Well, let's see what we got. What was that? I don't know. Did you did you hear that? <laughs> Something's not right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? What ticked you off? Is it like all the little horror movie tropes they're using? Also, is this hallway, like, does this hallway ever end? Okay, you know what? Stop, just stop it. What the fuck is this? Why is the corridor so long? Where does that light keep coming from? And what's all the weird sounds? You hear that freaking freaking creepy wood creaking? How? It's all metal and concrete in here. There is no wood. And you? What do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife. Uh oh. The cat's gonna get a knife. <laughs> now that I think about it, you aren't even that long. Oh. Only you were actually helpful. Jeez. Nice to the cat. Oh, poor kitty. Okay, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's just, it's been a rough day, you know? I mean, first all the murders, and then I find out I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. The upside, I guess I really can't get any worse from here. Never say that, dude! Never, ever, ever say that! Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Was that the... The good, the bad, and the ugly. Da 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 da. It's evolving. <laughs> okay. 
Wah, wah, wah. You, you've changed. Go something else, something more. You're you're taking the lead. Uh, okay, boxing cat. The dark side, you really come through for me. I'm sorry, I ever doubted you. <laughs> Just casually extends their spine. All right, let's go observe the pug out of that computer. It's amazing. Again, like it's so interesting how it can switch from like this kind of like depressed. It all kind of reminds me of the of the original ending. Like what how how. We're, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind was originally supposed to end. Um, and despite all, you know, evidence to the contrary, I don't necessarily prefer tragic endings all the time. That would check something. You're almost at the control center? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to have stretched. It seems to be looping. Boy, I'll say. Wait, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. Should be fixed now. Uh, thanks. Why was it like that? Oh, sir, the room should be just ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. All right. Yeah, so we just go from, like, depressing ending, you know, that's just kind of, you know, rooted in character flaws. It's not, like, a bad ending, per se, but it isn't, this isn't really what I want to do. Or it feels like an ending. It's not necessarily an ending. Um, but to, like, wacky hijinks! <laughs> yeah, prepare for the meeting. Just being there is enough. We have your data stream. So you, need, you only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. <laughs> well then, shall we begin? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Um, now I'm worried I'm, I missed something or whatever, but I, um... That's what Jekyll Sangre replays is for. Yeah, it just did. Good, keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh-huh. Do you see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. Although, although, there's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Does the machine start circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from... Someone's trying to get in. What the fuck? What kind of Lovecraftian shit is this? Or is this more like the ants destroying the technology? What are you, the system's almost ready. What are you seeing? Oh, now I'm thinking about Amori. What the hell? Who is it? What the? What the hell? Okay. It's like the, the helmet from Prey. Prey 2017. Where are you? Yeah, that's a very good question. You already know why. I am your father. That's not true. I don't know why I started thinking about that, but... That's what I, um, um, that's what I, that's what I thought, anyway. I mean, you are real. Relative to this place, at least. Winry? And how many? Too many. What is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. Okay, we may have created your world, but on the other hand, created mine. We went over until however, after how many layer, however many layers, the bottom of the stack. There exists a world around the first simulation. I, I mean, I'm curious as to why they're doing a bot. They're doing bottom-up imagery instead of top-down imagery. Um, even more and more. And finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract. 
It would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Okay. Over right at the top of that stack. Correct. Who is this? Then there's something that I still don't get. Why didn't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without Oh, is this Faye? And why are you here even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why did you even bother talking to him? Hey, I'm right here. It's different. He's... he's... I mean, he is sapient. I, I would argue. It certainly seems that way to me. But he's not... But he's certainly not... Uh, not any... Like, he's... Not any difference between him and, um... It is Faye! Hey! Yeah! Nice! So we finally get a, a reference between... A connection, an explicit connection to the original game. Um, and again, that doesn't mean much. That's so different from that rice spot of this world, after all. It not look like a rice spot. No, I certainly hope not. <laughs> Were you also an AI reboot for the simulations? Well, not exactly. But I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. Because she's an imaginary friend. But that's all a story for another day. Spoilers, by the way. Um, hey, what are you... I mean, I talk all about, you know, avoiding spoilers, but apparently I just casually spoil who she is. Um, there's, the, there's the airplane. Shall we? Okay. Huh. There are a lot of tangents out there beyond this one. Each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. particular tangent is being observed because it's special. Special because despite being at the top of the stack, it's almost identical to base reality. Huh. Everything began unfolding the same way. Your childhood, your youth, your diagnosis, Okay, I'm starting to get the feels. Um, it's just like here, against all odds, you get pushing on. They were wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can while you still could. And all you could, tried as hard as you could. So like someone, so this is like, this is like Sigmundception. <laughs> you know, like, like there were like simulations, doing simulations, doing simulations until like it eventually like looped around. You met someone, someone you imagined the future with. Graduated into, career, into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. So a lot of so these events that we've been seeing are not literally real, but are almost an exact mirror of what was real. Keep travel the world. Also, we can get into philosophical issues of wit of how of like what's real another time. Why you didn't do it sooner? It's reality where we're from. It all follow the same course. It's up until that point. So, is she actually Neil's uh, parent? When you came back from the trip and found out you were pregnant, you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. You had to make that choice between yourself and the child. She chose to. Later surgery until it was due. You chose the child. Uh, so is this... If this is Neil, is he going back to... Is he, like, trying to bring her back or something? 
Need some time to recover, but we're quite behind already. We're transferring you to surgical unit soon. I understand. How's he doing? Okay, you're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. My little Toby Reynard. Actually, about that. Thinking, well, maybe he should take your surname instead. That's your name, Watts. Is it gonna be Watts? That's why he should love that. Because when he gets those Watts, yes, woo! I was right. In the end, kind of through to a lot of weird, convoluted time, like stuff. Something else in mind then. But Neil, I knew it. Can't believe I was actually right about that. <laughs> Little Neil Watts. You know, this game does feel, you know, like Finding Paradise. You know, this game feels more like you're expected to at least have played Finding Paradise. Whereas Finding Paradise had allusions to the moon, but didn't really. You know, like that, or that name, Neil Watts, like that does feel like. It, it's kind of like there's a scene in, in Better Call Saul, which I'm not going to spoil, um, but there's a scene in Better Call Saul. That is just completely mundane. It's given a ton of weight, but it's completely mundane unless you've seen Breaking Bad. You know, even though most of Better Call Saul you can watch without having seen Breaking Bad. Um, and this is kind of like that, you know, like Neil Watts. Like, they're putting a lot of weight on the fact that his name is Neil Watts. But if you haven't played any of the previous games, you don't know. Um, you don't know whether he's whether he's actually named, um, whether he's named Neil Watts or not. Um Challenge is fine. All the love you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you were never fully recovered. Uh -huh. The delay, the treatment couldn't revert your decline. Except once you were meeting, you were just bedridden. Uh -huh. Still, perhaps I have the will to be there for him. It is long past your prognosis. That's good. Watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends to leave something for him for when he grows up. Oh. Left him a piece of your memories. Oh. And there's no way to decrypt it. But still, someday you hoped. Well, it seems like that worked. So now the funeral now the funeral's for her, not for him. You know, I, I still maintain that I don't think there was one right, um, there was, you know, like, there's no one right answer to the, at least in the general sense, there was no right answer to the broad, con like, I don't think there was any general, how do I put this, I don't think there was any, there was any, I don't think there was any, anything wrong Okay, sorry. Let me back up. My mind got uh, off on a tangent that I don't want to go into right now. Um, but the... Um, I don't... It, it seems like, you know, in this specific context, considering the two different outcomes, it was the right... Like, the real um, uh, Linry made the right choice. Um, made the right choice, you know, as opposed to fake... Uh, I almost said Winry again. Fake Linry, um, but I still maintain that there's no one, you know, like in an abstract sense, there's no it, outside of the situation, there's no good answer. Anyway, that, I think this is the same hereditary condition. Yeah, so that's what he. This was a reminder of his limited time here. Memento Mori stirred up something within him, pushing him further as it did for you. Oh, that's oh, that's Eva. And though he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await and those he got clo who got close, he wasn't successful with everyone. Oh, slowly from the very basics, he worked and worked, all the way past the research he left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again, he was rejected by the foundation over your incident. So instead, he sought an alternate route. So this is this is interesting because I always thought you know Eva's mentions in like helping him cheat and back into the moon. Um, uh, oh no, never mind. So it's an external it's an external company. So ne so it wasn't the same thing. Yeah. Um, some help from a friend. Yeah. So she she helped him. Never mind. I I thought it was like 
she helped him not because he like wasn't like doing well on the tests or whatever, but because he was, you know, because they wouldn't let him in any other way or something. But no, it looks like it looks like Sig Sigmund Corp is not. It's not like the institution is different, but the technology is the same. Um, however, the technology company that used it to fulfill last wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. Company called Sigmund Corp. So, I'm assuming this is we're getting pretty close to the end of the game here. And for a while, I was like, this doesn't feel like a satisfying ending. And now I'm like, this is satisfying. I don't know. There's a but there's a, there's a part of me that if this just ends right here, it's like, I don't know. It's always, like, with these types of things, there's always a, like, there's always a, like, am I, am I just disappointed because, like, I, I think the ending is actually bad, or is it what, not what I thought it was going to be in my head? It was, like, I had this vague idea of, like, some grand thing, you know, even though that's, you know, not really to the moon and finding paradise is, it's not the thing they do, you know? It was many years since then. The time he's aided countless patients and witnessed as many lives go by. While perfecting the technology on his own accord with the hardware and data access. Today in that world, he succeeded. The world we're in and every world in the stack it stands upon. They're the result of the first functional stress test from the machine he, he perfected. First successful test. The machine he built. What is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. So that, so that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. Without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to. To see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life since the day he was born, I wish I'd made a different choice then. So glad that, uh, that somewhere out there I did. So glad that he's made it. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting choked up, esteemed viewers. There's the bird. It's almost time. We've gone beyond the boundary of set events. The tangent needs to be terminated. Terminated? Just one tangent. Can't you just let it run just this once? It's not just this one tangent. With the countless past te test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. To speak to you on this roof, I'm also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. To manage to dig deep enough to have found me. So he, like, like did, so in Finding Paradise, is the implication that in Finding Paradise, he, he, like, when he encountered her, he was like, this is the, like, like, she is the key to unlocking what I've been trying to do. Um, I fail, I never take everything with it regardless. Oh, so it was never meant to exist beyond this point. But the world aside, I might have a way to give you more time. Okay, that's good. You're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected. <laughs> My spot? He's got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. I'm going is you know, there's no protocol for them. See here, so they're just gonna get this is gonna like error message the whole thing and no, that's that's what I assume she means. Um uh, you know, it's pretty scary, huh? So I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. On the other hand, uh, sorry we got the world deleted. See, curiosity killed the cat, but I guess you weren't even alive. I was just still know what your deal is, but... Maybe I'll see you at a reboot one day and find out, yeah? Hey, cute little dude. So uh, you heard that, right? Affirmative. I am linked to Linry's, Linry's data feed. But do not worry, for I am well versed. Well versed in what? In ceasing to exist. I, I assumed, and I think this was probably referencing, you know, um, uh, six million forms of communication. Um, uh, so it's, if this is the same thing, let, let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell until next time. Hello, I spot. Uh -huh. So we'll take one last look. I 
Groundskeeper would be livid. <laughs> yeah. So was the angel supposed to be Faye? Because she certainly looked like an angel in her first appearance. Cheeky. <laughs> Doing okay? Hey, Linry? Yeah? Yeah, more than okay. Well, so we go. Yep. Linry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? We're far, but you'll be among good company. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see Johnny and River again? What's the, what's the storm going on? <laughs> oh, this looks like the the rocket I'm um, seeing into the moon. Are they going? Are they all going to the moon? Star Station. Probably the last to arrive. Last ones. What is all this? Oh. Are these all? This is even tangents for every Oh, so it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be just not gonna be Johnny and River. As in every rogue version you, but we can tell that one similar enough. I want to be one set to deal with. This is the way to end the rogue infinite loops because I'll give you in a sense. Speaking of which, <laughs> everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, isn't that all better? I have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. That does not look like saving the world. <laughs> Again, that looks like some Cthulhu shit, but you know. Appearances can be deceiving, and she's already explained how they are deceiving. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so the others may keep shining. Mm. And that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. May your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. A linear illusion with little resource to maintain. To you, it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Linry? It's in the perfect timeline. Linry? There's no point. We are grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What's really happened beyond this world is already set. I would have another virtual ride matter, but not even our own did. I've already seen all there is to see. All that truly matters anyway. But... if you haven't? I mean, I've certainly had my word shadow too in more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And if, if for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't based reality? It may not be the, the reality, but they were our, so our realities, and that's all we've known. And again, like, the fact that, you know, like, learning about this stuff sends these characters into an existential funk probably means there's some level of sapience going on there. Um... In the game, it might be real relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that is truly out there somewhere. Now you can visit and a time to grow old together. What do you say, Lenry? Want to go on one last trip together? Wanna wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. I didn't really understand the idea of time as a dimension until, ironically, I watched um, Bill Wirtz's History of the Entire World, I guess. Um, your, 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 new, your new life is waiting. It's 
see what we've got. There it is, the panel thing again. Interesting how the door icon shows up even though I can't interact with anything. She needs to play in the lavender. I don't know. There's a part of me that feels like a bit disappointed or like, I don't know. I'm thinking about how I'm not getting as choked up as I was when I played through the original, um, the original, uh, both to the moon, especially to the moon, but also finding paradise. But also, a part of me is like, well, one, just like the fact that I'm not like as like over the moon, pardon the expression, um, um, as to the moon is, is, you know, kind of a compliment in and of itself. And all, and, and, but also like, I don't know, I can't point to anything in this ending, you know, that I find is unsatisfying. I can't even say that it's not satisfying. It's, it's not like the vague idea of it I had in my head, but it's, you know, it, it it's good. I'm honestly the most disappointing thing is that I didn't get to see Johnny and River on, on there. Um, and Colin and Faye slash, oh, what was it, Sophie, Sophia? Sophia, isn't that her, isn't that? Yeah, I think that's her name. Um, yeah. And there's Neil, little nerdy Neil. There's um, there's Eva. Holmes and Watson. <laughs> oh man, I am like. What am I, like, what am I gonna do? Like, what free bird? Oh, the jellyfish! This really is the perfect timeline. Um, so are they, um, you know, obviously this really sweet moment. I'm like, are they gonna get married in the base timeline, in the quote-unquote real timeline? Oh, there's the, the couple the um... The, the rivals, um, I, I should have, I pointed at the screen, why didn't I use the, um, I should have used the mouse. Oh well. Um, oh, we can control this, nice. It is interesting how like, you know, this is really the conclusion of the story of like Neil Watts and all, and the you know, the Sigmund Chronicles or whatever, despite not, like, despite it not being, like, it's not him barely being in it, you know, um, but it, it, I think it fits, you know, um, but, um, nothing getting Mass Effect flashbacks with the dancing thing, um, um, I really, I, I don't know, there's a part of me that just feels like it's a huge missed opportunity, because considering, considering that Johnny and River, you know, um, uh, considering that Johnny and River, like, had this, um, uh, like, considering, uh, sorry, like, considering that, um, um, uh, tri what's her name? I just, I'm now just, like, thinking Winry, um, um, Whatever, you know, like, now that they have their happy ending, why can't Johnny and River have their happy ending? I don't know. Uh, it's just, that's, like, the one kind of thing that's... I don't know. I'm really gonna have to, like, 
I don't know. I'm I'm curious. I would really I would love to do a Jekyll Slinger replay series on this game as well. You know, I'd probably do it like a year or so in advance because like when I, you know, when I have more time because something tells me I'm gonna like this more as I you know as as it as it, as I get used to it you know. Um, all that. So. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I don't know. That's, um. That's the, um. I'm, I'm super curious to see what Freebird does next. Well, they had a good run, huh? The bestest. Bird. <laughs> I just heard um, family dog bark downstairs. Um, I don't know if it if the mic caught it or not. Um, it's about time. It's all I can manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But, just wish you were actually here. He is here. <laughs> oh, that's what, of course he would, of course Neil would like bait himself in, in bright light. He always will be. On everybody will be. Uh, this is um really sweet story. Oh, oh yeah, there's the grandpa. There's him showing uh, young Neil. This game also has much more of these, like, holy crap, this is, like, kind of straight up animated. Oh. That, that's the end. This actually was the finale, scene viewers, which you already knew, because I probably titled this, you know, finale. <laughs> So I've, I've commented a lot before on how weird it is that, you know, some things in the title are things that are known by you as new viewers before I do, because I'm recording this, you know, inherently in the past, you know, here in the world, in the world. I would, I would really love to see like some DLC or something that is about, um, that is just like, I mean, just, I, I, I know this is like, I don't know, like, um, and there's also... Interesting how there's no Laura Shig Shigahara. I, I'm probably mispronouncing that last name. Song. Um, I don't know. It's like I feel like I'm. I don't know. It's. It's weird. It, like I, there's nothing. It's not bad. It's not a bad ending. And I. I can't. I think I'll like it much later. But it's. Right now, there's just like so many things, like, I don't know, there's a part of me that's like selfishly like disappointed that there is no, um, that, you know, like River is not, you know, there's no Johnny, well, I can take Ruby Johnny to be honest, <laughs> um, but there's no, like, I don't see River one last time, or Colin one last time, or Fee one last time, but, um, uh, but it's just, I don't know, there's nothing... It's like where does where does the emotion end and the um like where do, where does the emo where does my emotional investment end and my critical perspective begin you know it's there's always gonna be a blurry line there so I don't think I'm gonna press space here because I think it's probably just gonna exit the game I don't want to do that so 
that with that out of the way that'll be all esteemed viewers thank you for watching if you like the video give it a like if you have something to say let me know in the comments uh twitter letterbox and nexus.gg links in the description down below um subs um subscribe ring the bell if you want to be notified of future videos especially the house and Prada morgana um you know which should be the next you know like video coming out probably like tomorrow or something hopefully fingers crossed um and um uh, uh like and subscribe and all that other stuff so like share the video i'd really appreciate it if someone you think would like it all that all that stuff with that out of the way i i will see you later steam viewers oh actually never mind um oh neil there you are you just can't hold it in anymore i must confess to you that's not funny it's a little funny oh it's hey so did i handle that all right yeah thanks strange that's supposed to be the perfect timeline though it only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here interesting that, there was nothing to overcome it passed by without even a meaningful ripple but still, you familiar with the Library of Babel? I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? No, no, that's all right. It's this theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and, and punctuation. Anything that can be written or ever will be can be found. Okay, so that's that must be why it's called Library of Babel. So, so it's like the the monkeys thing. The monkeys typing out and keep banging on keyboards, creating the words of Shakespeare. So I mean, you reach for a book and it just happens to be exactly what you need. That's what's happened with all three of these games um, for me. Um, so is this not the end? Primitive Reach attempt. I gotta go. Primitive Reach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Huh. Okay, well, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna end this, I guess, and I'm not gonna do the outro because I already did that. But um, Neil, don't have your stapler, I swear. But don't be silly. We were just nearby, nearby now, very far an hour ago before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? Love Doctor Winters. So anyway, we were gonna go somewhere rad. You in? How rad? Surprisingly rad. Hard pass. Geez, somebody's a party pooper. Maybe that's why I like Neil. Well, all right, I guess no all can eat ice cream for Neil then. I said, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. Might as well, Neil. Who knows when will be the next time we'll be able to be able to. How do you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the. Is this not the end? Is somebody in there? Hello? So X Imposter Factory. So there is gonna be more? Oh, okay. Thank you for supporting the series through the years. Um, well, you're welcome. Well, thank you for making this amazing series. Um, so, well, so is this like, I guess this must be like, this certainly answers a lot of questions, but this kind of feels like, I don't know, kind of like Avengers Endgame, I guess, and that is a lot of things wrapped up, but you can definitely see where it's going from there. Anyway, so yeah, I'm um, not going to do the outro because I already did that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to keep getting excited about the ending and keep getting disappointed until the end of time. No, I'm not, you know, not, not really. I'm, I'm, um, I, I do, like, you know, like I said, even when I thought this was the ending, I still, you know, I was more like, I don't know. It, it wasn't anything wrong with the game per se, just like expectations and weird pet personal hangups and whatever. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious to see where this goes next. Uh, and that'll be all, see me yours. Goodbye.